up, YouTube page for the franchise guy coming at you again with the start of another brand new series. It is our Philadelphia Phillies MLB The Show 2020 series. Yep, we're going back with the Phillies. I know we just did a Phillies franchise, but it just became, it just wasn't fun for me anymore. So we started just to restart it. I have a bunch of new rules I'm going to implement this year. I mean, I'm not going to make it super realistic. It's going to stay that same. That's going to be more enforced, a semi-realistic. But then again, still fun. Because you want to trade for players you want to play with, okay? You want to trade for those players, and you don't want to be bogged down by all the rules. So, it's going to have some leeway to it. I understand it's not going to be it for everyone, but there will be some leeway to everything, and I guarantee you it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, it's going to be twice weekly uploads, so it'll be every Wednesday and Friday you'll have uploads. So, that's, that's the main point right now. We're going to have a twice weekly Philly series on top of our three days a week for Road to the Show. So, five days of baseball. Now, if you guys... I was planning on going over every rule in this episode, and then I realized to do so, I'd have to have a 20-minute video. Not actually 20 minutes. But I'd have to have a super long video, a video a lot longer than you guys want to sit through for rules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the rules down in the description below for this series. And if you ever want to look back at the rules, the rules will be down there for you guys to check out. So I mean, one of the rules I want to implement is the live series update rule. Yeah, it's a rule that I've seen come along uh, in the movie show 19 that we had. Where if a live roster update came out and it gave a player plus 5 speed, you give that player plus 5 speed. This helps players in the rosters who don't progress well. So last year in the show 19, Jeff McNeil and Pete Alonzo, those guys never progressed well. But with the live series rule, you update them and it makes them more playable, makes them update better. And it helps them actually play so they're not just getting like shoved down the minors. So that's going to be your returning rule. Another returning rule is the save the veterans rule. So every veteran under the age of 33, as long as they have a good season, good productive season, they will have their regressions reversed. But that's, those are just two rules that we're bringing back from last year, which we already had. You know, check the description down below. So all of that, you saw right there, we just signed Scott Kazmir, Alex King. They call him Rex. Check him out on Twitter. The dude's amazing. I love him. His Twitter should be down in the description below. He plays for the Diamondbacks organization. He's a super cool dude. And Yariel Munoz, if you guys haven't heard his story, he literally just defected from his team because they weren't playing him enough. So, is okay. If you don't want to play for your team, I mean, I'll take you for a bench piece, dude. You're amazing for a bench bat. But we'll also be making a trade to end this episode off. Dave Robertson, I'm sorry, sure, he could be a great bullpen piece, but I'd never see him do well in franchise. I always see him regress super hard. You know, he only played seven games last year, and then he had, like, Tommy John, and in theory, he wouldn't even really play this year until, like, the All-Star break. So, just bypass all that. We're going to trade him. For Ubaldo Jimenez, a 36-year-old starting pitcher, because we could use some starters. You know, I think he'd just be a fun player to play with, too. That's also part of it. He's from the DR. Dude throws gas still. 95 for his fastball. I mean, I can't complain about that. Would not mind throwing him in the bullpen. So I think he'd be a fun one. And Carlos Estevez, a 71 overall, 27-year-old out of the Dominican Republic with a cannon for a fastball. They're 98 miles an hour. Probably can easily hit 100 off that. But make sure you guys check out the rules down below. Hope you guys are excited for this series because I'm super excited to put this series out twice weekly. But until next time, YouTube, peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy. And make sure you guys subscribe. Cause